Good day YouTube, Fuzzfinger here and welcome to another Final Fantasy XII video. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about the RNG manipulation that's been available on the PS4 version of the game. So that you can get the most powerful weapons in Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, without any effort. And how that translates across to the PC version. Now I already expect this video to be down liked or disliked uh, into oblivion. The reason for that is there is going to be one large group of people that are hugely disappointed in the information I'm going to be sharing with you. There's going to be another group of people who dislike the RNG trick that has been used on PS4 so much that basically anybody that has used it is no better than Hitler. And I hope therefore you're going to be able to look past the inevitable like-dislike ratio and find the information in this video somewhat useful. So in case you don't know what I'm talking about up until this point, the Zodiac Age introduced a subset of weapons known as the Invisible Weapons, so called because they had no model when the player wielded them. Now, the best known example of this is the Sight and Grat Bow, a hugely broken weapon that was very, very, very powerful, could be collected very early on in the adventure and required no jobs on the character uh, that was going to equip it so anybody could use it and you could have multiple of these you could get six item rats and literally just blitz your way through virtually all of the content in the game now normally the site and rats would have a one in ten thousand loot chance and i'm going to leave a video to the method you can use if you're playing on ps4 to get that weapon uh, but with the rng manipulation then you can make that chance one in one Again, that's on the PS4. Now, a lot of people naturally wanted to know if that RNG manipulation method could be used here on the PC version of the game. And this is where things are going to turn a little bit sour. Very briefly then, the way this trick works on the PS4 version, and I will be brief because I've done a video on this which I'll link in the description. You get Varn on board the Sky Ferry where the chest can spawn, just here it hasn't. And as I say, it's got a very low spawn chance, but you can then manipulate the chance of it spawning by doing a hard reset with an auto save created at that point and loading up a pre-prepared save file from towards the start of the game where you're in control of Rex. And Rex has a healing cure ability and you want to cure with him repeatedly and after doing so for a couple of minutes, you're going to get a specific sequence. And that sequence is 88, 97, 90. Because there is no true randomness in this game, everything is basically a very long sequence. It is inevitable that you would get that. And once you've got that sequence, you do a soft reset, load up that auto save, and the RNG will be in your favour at that point, 100% as long as you've done that, in order to uh, see that the chest has spawned. It's an invisible chest, but it is there. And then you just need to get a little bit of good timing uh, in order to actually loot the sight and grat. It was a very useful trick for those that wanted to OP themselves. And I'm doing it here on the PS4 today, 5th of February. This is, you know, footage that I've just recorded on the latest version. So it does still work on the PS4 version. But it seems, as you're going to see in a moment, that it doesn't sadly work on the PC version. And I'm going to talk about why that is. But here you can see we can't run any further because of the invisible chest. And then that guy in the background, we just need to wait for him to run up the stairs for the fourth time. And just as he reaches the top, uh, clicking the X button will uh, give us the sight and grat. If you don't get sight and grat, by the way, on PS4, then it means that somewhere you've gone wrong with either getting the healing number sequence, uh, not doing the hard and soft resets uh, in the right places, or getting the timing wrong on that boy running up the stairs there. But there you go, dead easy to get one, and you'll get one 100% of the time on PS4 if you follow the instructions properly. Just make sure you check out my video if you do want to go into more detail with that. But, as I say, it doesn't work on PC at the moment and possibly it never will and I'm going to share with you why that is the case now. I've just loaded up my rec save file here on the PC then and one thing I'm noticing first of all is that the healing sequence is different than on the PS4 or rather where we begin in the sequence is different than on the PS4. Now I tried using various uh, sequence analysis software such as RNG Helper and stuff and it seems that the sequence that we start at is way 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 different at best 
or completely breaks the program at worst when we try and find out where it is. Now you might think, okay, that's fine, we just need to sort out the new numbers and figure out a new healing sequence of three numbers for the chests in the PC version. And that would be good in theory, except there's just one problem. Every time you load your Rex save file, you begin in a different part of the healing sequence. So I've done a hard reset at this point. But if we start healing now, we're actually going to be no notice that we're in a completely different part of the healing sequence than we was the first time we did this, despite the fact I've done a hard reset, which means that you'd have thought the save file would have been back to the point it was in uh, before we loaded it the first time. Well, it isn't. Which means that there's something else affecting the seed. There's something else that's uh, determining our position in the sequence. And this is obviously a willful part on behalf of the developers to stop this manipulation of the RNG from taking place. Now, it might be based on the time, uh, but I don't think that it is, as in the, the time in real life when you actually load this up. I have tested this. I've tested this with Steam being in offline mode. Uh, including also backing up and restoring save files before doing anything. And I cannot seem to get Rex to be staying in, his, uh, in the same position when we load up the save file of the healing sequence. It's always different. So I do not know at the moment what it is that's determining his position in the sequence. I do not think it's random um, because that's just not how the numbers play in this game at all. But I just don't have the technicalities to actually figure out what's causing the positions to change. Now, even if we do determine what's causing the positions to change, it's still not going to allow us to just do an easy way of manipulating the RNG. We're still going to have to find a way of stopping that from happening so that the numbers we know that we need will always be able to get. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to talk about whether it's right or wrong that Square have made this change. I'm sure you've all got your own opinions on that. And personally, I don't really care all that much for the invisible weapons. Uh, I just find it interesting, you know, the fact that we can figure out how to do this stuff. And to actually, not hack the game, but to manipulate the game into giving us what it is that we, we would like to get. And I just find that very fascinating that players have been able to figure those things out. And I think it's interesting that Square have gone ahead and made these changes to the PC version. And whatever your thoughts are on that, remember that they have also included the very easy options of maxing your license points and your guilt on the PC version. So it's not like you can just say, oh good, they don't want you to break the game. <laughs> because clearly that's not in their line of thinking at all. They've actually given us options to do just that anyway in a different sense. So I'm not going to talk about the reason so much as to why they've done this. As I say, you've got your own opinions, that's fine. Um, but I am going to keep an eye on this uh, version of the game, on the PC version. And I am following a few threads around Reddit, a few threads around GameFAQs and on Steam. And as people start to you know, learn more information about this, and if it is going to be possible in the future to use the good old Sight and Grat uh, invisible weapons trick that we you know so many people have come to love on the ps4 uh, then i'll certainly post some more videos and keep you updated but at the moment unfortunately it's not possible so hopefully those of you that have been asking this question and many of you have been in the comment section of my videos and on my live streams uh, will find this to be a definitive answer for the time being uh, and i can just point you to this video in future for those that do ask that question but thanks a lot anyway guys for uh, sticking with me through this. Let me know what your thoughts are anyway uh, of this in the comments section. Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing that Square decided nope you're not manipulating the RNG on PC as you are on PS4 and what do you think the reasons are that they've done this especially in light of the fact that they don't really care about the game being broken with some of the toggles they've included and do you think there's going to be a way to do this in the future and do you have any techno know-how on how that might be possible by all means share that in the comments as well but i'm going to finish off there for today then folks so thanks for stopping by um, if you found this video helpful then i would appreciate a like uh, I've, I've already said i expect a bunch of dislikes anyway just because of the topic in question there's not much i can do about that uh, i do want to just get helpful information out to you but also as well please do subscribe to my youtube channel for more content in the future on Final Fantasy XII and other games as well, of course. Alright, folks, well, that's it for me for today. Goodbye.